Hey there, this video is all about why cravings happen and what you can do about them. So I'm going to go over nine ways that you can go ahead and reduce your cravings. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so now. Click that red subscribe button and also make sure to hit that bell to be notified every time I post a new video on menstrual cycle health and fitness. You'll get fitness videos, you'll get ways to reduce different PMS symptoms that you might have, and you'll get a lot of support for your menstrual cycle so that you can make the best of each week of the month. And this is Sweets. By using the tips that I'm about to share with you here, she was able to reduce her cravings, reduce her PMS symptoms, and actually lose weight. Now, you might not want or need to lose weight, but that's just how powerful these suggestions are. So let's get into it. Tip number one is to just eat more food. Since you are burning more calories, you are going to need more food. So during meals, put a little bit more on your plate, have a few more snacks. That's tip number one. Tip number two is to eat your amino acids. So in this premenstrual or luteal phase, we are burning more calories, but the calories that we do burn are coming from amino acids because our body is preparing for pregnancy. Foods that are high in amino acids are protein, animal protein specifically. That has all of the essential amino acids. Essential amino acids are the amino acids that our body cannot create by itself. There are plant sources of amino acids and generally you'll need to combine different plant sources to make a complete amino acid. Combining beans and rice or peas and rice are a great way to complete the amino acids so that you have a full amino acid. Quinoa is one example of a complete amino acid food. Soy, tempeh, edamame are also complete forms of amino acids. They are soy based, so if you have higher estrogen, be very careful with that. And it doesn't stop there. Actually, it takes our body a lot of energy to assimilate those amino acids. So I actually take a supplement that I will link below. It actually gives me energy and I actually use it as a pre-workout and post-workout. And I take a little bit more in my luteal phase. So make sure to get your amino acids in whichever form is right for you. Tip number three is eat complex carbs that stabilize your blood sugar. So complex carbs are just a longer burning fuel. So you'll have it available to you so you don't do that roller coaster of your blood sugar. So your blood sugar will do a gentle rise and a gentle fall. And by the time it falls, you will be cued to eat more food. So great luteal phase complex carbs are lentils, brown rice, sweet potatoes, and buckwheat. Number four, eat the cookie. No, really eat the cookie. Since we are burning more calories during this phase, have the things that sweeten up your life. So don't be afraid to give in to some of the cravings that you have, and it's not like eat the whole tray of cookies. No, it's like eat the cookie and maybe have something to stabilize your blood sugar, like one of the complex carbs I just mentioned, or some sources of the amino acids that I just mentioned as well. It's really important in this phase to not restrict your eating because restricting your eating will just make your body cry out for more and it could lead to some disordered eating. So just don't restrict your eating during this phase. Okay, so take a break, take a breather. Which of these tips did you like the most or which did you find the most interesting? Tell me in the comments below and we'll continue to tip number five. Tip number five is to eat your fibers and your fats. High fiber food and high fat food, along with protein, the amino acids that I mentioned, are all very satiating foods, meaning that it'll help you feel fuller for a longer time. So high fiber foods that are great in your luteal phase include beets, pinto beans, squash, I already mentioned sweet potatoes, any veggie in the brassica family, so that includes cauliflower, kale, romanesco broccoli, regular broccoli, or cabbage. All of those foods are great, and in terms of fruits like apples, pears, and even dried fruit can be great in this phase. And healthy fats that you can just smash on in this phase are sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, salmon, mackerel, eggs, 
they all have such healthy fats in them and they provide your body with exactly what your body needs. So make sure to get those fibers and those fats in your body. Tip number six, eat every two to four hours. So those are general guidelines. For me and my body, I know like every three hours is my sweet spot for eating. Your body is different than any other body. So base it off of your hunger cues and your cravings. It might be like a shorter window, more like two hours or four hours. But the important part is that you stabilize your blood sugar. So we're not doing that blood sugar roller coaster. We're doing like the smooth up and then the smooth down. It's, it, you know, it's like more like a road, not a roller coaster. Tip number seven. So remember tip number four, which was just eat the cookie. Tip number seven is to use delayed gratification to give yourself what you want. So the key here is doing something for yourself that you know you need to do and then doing something for yourself that you want to do. So maybe what you need to do is actually to clean your room or empty the dishwasher or maybe do a nice luteal phase workout for yourself and you can find one of mine in the link in the comments below. And when you do the things that you need to do before doing the thing that you want to do, you're delaying that gratification and that really helps your brain associate really positive things with having this cookie. But especially if you're kind of the person who tends to like want the whole sheet of cookies and not just the singular cookie, this could really help you actually slow down a little bit, create some anticipation, do the thing that you need to do, right? Exercise self-discipline, take care of yourself in this like self-discipline inner father way, and then give yourself the thing that you want, you know, treat yourself, spoil yourself a little. Tip number eight is to do low intensity exercise during this phase of your cycle. And if you follow me on Instagram, or if you've been listening to my channel, you know that low intensity exercise in the luteal phase is really the thing to do. And if you don't do this, if you're one of those people that like just wants to hit it hard and do that high intensity cardio and go, 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 what you might notice is that when we do these exercises, it actually takes stored carbohydrate in the form of glycogen from our muscle tissue. What this does to our blood sugar level overall is tanks them. So then we go on that roller coaster ride again, right? Which is what we want to avoid to do. So that low intensity exercise is actually much better for us during this phase when we think about the broader picture of what's happening in the luteal phase. So obviously I'm going to link to all of my luteal phase fitness videos down below. And if you haven't done them yet, make sure to put them on your watch later list. Tip number nine, download my free PDF cravings cheat sheet. So when you have a craving, it actually is telling you something about what you need. This cheat sheet is designed to really help you get what you need when your body is craving something. It's gonna help you demystify and decode your own craving. You can print it out and keep it on your fridge, very handy tip, and you can also keep it on your phone. So I have two, there's one for your phone, one for your fridge, have them in both places so you have a really easy reference tool. Again, the tips are to eat more food, eat carbs that stabilize your blood sugar, go ahead and just eat the cookie, treat yourself using delayed gratification, eat your amino acids, and remember I have a link below for that, do low intensity exercise, eat your fibers and your fats, eat every two to four hours, and then finally download my free cravings worksheet. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are somebody that wants to understand and stabilize your PMS, get with and master your hormones and get fit and healthy in the process, I would love to help you. You can go ahead and book a call with me, just a free consultation call using the link in the description below. And lastly, make sure to check out this cycle syncing playlist so that you can become a master of your menstrual cycle. I'll see you next time. Bye.